this, the champion versus champion super fight, lightweight champ Michael Chandler defending the title against featherweight champion Patricio Pitbull. We got the records up there because these are two of the greatest fighters in Bellator history. Look at the height difference and look at the reach difference. Patricio needs to get inside of that range on Michael Chandler. Let's get this party of pain started with the one and only Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator MMA tonight from Allstate Arena The Time has come for the second main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Lightweight World Championship. Sanctioned tonight by the Illinois State Athletic Commission at Caveside. Acting Director Nancy Ild, Executive Manager Joel Capuzano. And now, live on the zone, we introduce the blue corner first at five foot five, weighing in 154.7 pounds in his pursuit to hold a second world title. The reigning Bellator featherweight world champion enters with 28 professional victories, four defeats. Hailing from and fighting out of Natal Rio Grande do Norte, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Patricio. And across the cage is adversary. Tonight fights out of the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 154.8 pounds. The three-time lightweight world champion tonight makes the first defense after regaining the title as a professional. He stands with 19 victories, four defeats, fighting out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida by way of Nashville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, the defending Bellator lightweight world champion, Iron Michael Chandler. When the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Michael Madrigal. Michael. Mark, gentlemen, I need you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight hard, don't fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. All right, back up, let's get going. Nice to see the touch of gloves. Momentary respite from the hostilities that are about to ensue. There it is, the Bellator Lightweight Championship. It will be up for grabs. Patricio, you ready? Patricio Michael, Pitbull's ready? featherweight title not on the line, and immediately Patricio Pitbull takes the center of the cage. He's in the blue gloves. Michael Chandler in the red gloves. Very interesting to see which guy starts to get emotional here or if both keep themselves composed during the start of this fight. Chandler talked about the fact that we promoted as bad blood, hyping the fight up. He, he says bad blood in between blood. He says there will be blood and it will be at the expense of Patricio Pitbull tonight. But it's all business for Michael Chandler. Well, when you look at this as a whole, what does Michael Chandler have to win? His title is the one that's on the line. It's not Patricio's. Patricio is the guy, he's the lighter fighter. Michael Chandler is supposed to win this fight, but that is just easy to say and a lot harder to do. You've watched MMA, right? A couple times. <laughs> <laughs> the unpredictable. Oh! Chandler gets blocked by Patricio Pitbull. You talk about unpredictable. The referee has intervened, and Patricio Pitbull has done it. Makes Bellator history lightning quick. And yet, Michael Chandler wondering again what just happened, John. We're going to have to see that again, but Michael Chandler definitely got clipped with a shot. He got hurt, he went down, and Pitbull went after him. And well, that's what a champion does. Caught behind the ear, but Chandler looks like he's still ready to go. And again, a split second well, timing, that, John. You don't know that happened. Take a look at this shot. Watch the shot, it goes right behind his ear. Boom, that happened Legal. to Cain Velasquez against Junior Dos Santos. Look at him go down. He sees the shot, Misses. he starts to duck. Look at what he does, nothing, all of a sudden he wakes back up. And you could look and say, was he out? Was he out, exactly. It's hard to tell, but that shot definitely disrupts him, puts him down, and he is hurt. He misses with that follow-up shot, but these right here, there's He's no not response. defending. 
no response in, until the referee comes in and you see him come up because Michael doesn't move until that referee comes in and they come in and his movement is at the same time. Wow. It's such a hard call for the referee when you have a guy who is getting hit by a guy like Pitbull and he's not responding in any fashion. Michael Chandler showing off his face, saying that he is okay, but again, referee has that split second to determine his next action, deciding to stop the fight, and Patricio Pitbull becomes a simultaneous two-division champion, joining Ryan Bader. Let's make it official with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, referee Rob Madrigal steps in, waves off the contest due to strikes officially. One minute, one second into round number one. The winner by knockout, the new Bellator lightweight champion, and now reigning two weight class Bellator world champion, Patricio Pitbull. Patricio Pitbull wins the lightweight championship, and he is standing by with John McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the new champ champ in Patricio Pitbull. You came in here and did exactly what you said you would do. You hit him with a beautiful shot that hit him behind the ear that hurt him. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Ah, todo mundo viu que ele dormiu, então não tem para que vocês estão me vaiando. Vocês deviam estar me aplaudindo. Eu fiz meu trabalho. Everybody saw him go to sleep. I did what I had to do. I came in and did my job. In that position, you were attacking him. He was face down. He was not responding. And when the referee came in, he had a response to getting up. Do you believe he was out? Você acha que ele foi nocauteado? Ele estava no chão, nem respondendo. E o último golpe, você acordou. Ele acordou. Você acha que ele estava nocauteado? Uh, yes, he was sleeping, so I did my job. I'm sorry. But I don't give a fuck. I am the champ champ now. Fuck you. Here's my question. You had said before that you were going to take that lightweight title and just put it right down. Are you thinking about keeping it now? I, I really don't know. I am going to talk with my manager and we will see that. But it was for my family. Let me let me talk in Portuguese now. Galera do Brasil, isso foi pra vocês, pai e manhinha. Eu amo vocês, Tereza Davi, minha família inteira, tá aqui, ó. Nós ligamos, ele falou muito, falou do meu irmão, falou da minha família, disse que podia bater em todo mundo, e hoje eu vim aqui e vi meu trabalho. Let's go! I want to tell you congratulations on coming in here and being only the second fighter in Bellator to win two belts simultaneously. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Patricio Pitbull. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Michael Chandler. Mike, let's talk about the shot that puts you down and what you remember as far as the sequence. Yeah, no, it was overhand right. Uh, I saw it, I remember it. Uh, obviously, I, I went to the ground. I was, uh, I had my wits about me. You know, this is, this is the sport that we chose though, man. I've had fights like this where I've won and people thought it was fast. Now I've had a fight where uh, a lot of people are gonna think this is an early stoppage. But then again, Patricio Pitbull put me down. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to dispute that. Um, we, can look at the, we can look at the drawing boards, we can, look back at the, we can look back at the tape. Either way, we're moving forward. I appreciate the honesty and the way you're looking at it. Let me ask you a question. Do you remember being face down and not responding or is that part that wasn't there and then all of a sudden you remember coming back to life? No, I remember being face, I remember being face down with my hands just stopped, trying to stop the punches. Um, you know, as you can see, he landed two, two as I blocked. I mean, in, in wrestling, obviously in wrestling, we're always keeping our hands up, staying in the ball, keep the hands up, block the punches, get ready, stay in a, stay in a ball. It wasn't really taking much damage down there. As I was getting up, the ref was, you know, stopping the fight, so. Well, I want to tell you, I thought you were a man in taking this fight. It was not a lot for you to win in it. Congratulations on being the performer that you have been in Bellator. I know you're going to be back. Thank you for the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Chandler. And you heard Michael Chandler say at the end there, let's run it back. We thought the time for talking was over after the war of words, but 
This outcome is sure to be debated, but let's not take away from the fact that Patricio Pitbull joins Ryan Bader as the first simultaneous two-division champion, and it is all about family for both Patricio Pitbull and Michael Chandler. But Patricio Pitbull wanted to exact revenge for what happened with brother Patricky. And now he is got to be considered the greatest Bellator performer of all time. Although again, that finish will be debated. And I'm sure our fight crew at the desk will be debating it as well, guys. Patricio Pitbull making history the most wins in Bellator history now with 17, but that 17th victory is going to be hotly debated. Morrow, he said, let's run it back. Hey, sign me up right now, guys. I'll watch that one again. That was phenomenal. The last two fights of the evening, guys, they certainly didn't disappoint, but man, Patricio Pitbull, the way he went under, we all said, well, who's going to have more patience? Who's going to sit there and rush in? Who's going to catch you first? Once he caught him, he was able to finish. And part of it wasn't a surprise. I mean, listen, we thought that Pitbull was going to be a little bit faster, and he was. The other side of the coin is Chandler was huge. Josh, I couldn't believe the size difference. I would have liked to have seen some more minutes. I was intrigued by that fight, but I don't disagree with the stoppage. I thought it was right. I agree with you 100%. Right. Stoppage was correct. Look, yeah. the thing is, as a ref, and Big John, I'm sure we'll touch on this Let's as well. Go is the ref has to stop the fight when the body goes limp. It doesn't matter if you get hit again, and we've seen this before. I've been dropped, got hit again, and it woke me up. And that's exactly what it looks like happened. His arms went limp, ref jumped in, next shot landed, he wakes up and starts to stand up. That's just years of training, it's a habit that happens to fighters. They just, your body does it without you even knowing. You can be out, you hear fighters talk about it all the time. I got dropped, I got dropped, but my body was still moving. And that's exactly what was going on. And I want to see the replay over here too, because guys, it was a perfect, looping overhand, which cuts him right behind the ear. That takes away your equilibrium. And Jay, please notice what happens here. This is actually an illegal shot. Now, please hear me out. What I'm talking about is hitting behind the head. The way this was thrown, the way that Chandler moved, it's absolutely within the rules. The only reason I point that out is it's a very effective strike. If you can hit somebody in the temple, on the jaw, or right there on that bat, what we call the mohawk, where this landed, they're likely to go down. That's what happened. Again, please watch when this strike is thrown. Chandler moves his head. Wait, Back of the ear. Why do you say it's an illegal strike? Well, I'd say the mohawk. I don't want people at home to look at that and go, wait a minute, it was behind the head. No, that's not the rule. As long as the strike is thrown at an appropriate place, if your opponent moves, which is what I'm suggesting for you happen here, Chandler moved. It's fair game, but it's also Josh very effective. I think that Pitbull swarmed him. It was right. I saw what the referee saw. I agree with you 100%. I saw exactly what the referee saw. And look, at the end of the day, the ref was just doing what was best for the fighter's safety. Yes. We're going to live another day to see Chandler, I'm sure, fight for the title again. Now the question is, will Patricio stay there and defend the title, or will he step aside? Because his brother's pretty much number one or number two in line for the next title shot. Now, he's obviously not going to fight his own brother. This, he's here fighting for his brother. <laughs>